everyone. Welcome back to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula. I live a low carb lifestyle and I have been experiencing many health benefits from living this lifestyle. You can check out some of my other videos to see what I'm talking about, but today I'm going to be making low carb pizza dough. This is a very easy recipe. To me, it's a lot easier than making the traditional pizza dough where you have to proof the yeast and let the dough rise and all of that. This is way easier and quicker. I have my ingredients right here in front of me and I'm gonna show you how I make it right after this. If you Google fathead pizza dough, you will find a lot of different recipes for this kind of dough. This is one that I've tried. It's very easy to make and it is low carb and I just stick with this one. So today I have in this bowl six ounces of cream cheese. It's full fat cream cheese. And I have one and a quarter cups of mozzarella cheese shredded. The first step is to take these two ingredients and put them in the microwave and melt them together. I do it at about a minute at a time and I stir it in between. It only takes a minute or two to get it melted enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I have melted the cream cheese and the mozzarella cheese together and I have preheated my oven to 425 degrees. And now I'm gonna change the camera angle and show you how I mix this all together. Here's my melted cheeses. And all I'm gonna put in here is two beaten eggs. Three quarters cup of almond flour. And about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna mix all this together. This dough is gonna be a very sticky dough to work with. So I'm going to show you my method that I came up with to press this out. That works pretty well for me. Now I'm going to make this into two pizza crusts. You can do one big pizza crust or you can do as thin a pizza crust as you like or as thick as you like. It's all your preference. I like a thin crust. It comes out really crispy and I like it that way. Here on my baking sheet, I have a sheet of parchment paper. I have it sprayed with a little bit of olive oil cooking spray, and I'm going to do one of these at a time, like I said. So I'm only gonna take about half of this mixture. Once it's on the baking sheet, I take another piece of parchment paper that I have sprayed with the cooking spray. If you don't spray it, it's going to stick and it's going to be a pain to peel off. So all I do is press it out with my hands as thick or as thin as I like it. I'm going to tell you the cooking time for the thin crust. If you want a thicker crust, you're going to need to adjust your time. It takes a little longer. So once I get it all shaped how I want it, I just smooth it down a little bit. And then I'm going to peel off the top layer of parchment paper. This can be tricky, so make sure you go very slowly and I made this one so thin that there are some holes in it, but that's okay. I'm gonna save my other piece of parchment paper for my other crust, because I'm gonna do this twice. And I'm just gonna kind of fill my holes here a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the oven at 425 for about eight to 10 minutes. If your crust is thicker, you can go 10 to 12 minutes because what you're gonna do is you're gonna bake this crust and then you're going to put your toppings on top and then bake it again. So you don't want it to be super crispy, you just want it to be baked enough to hold the toppings. I just took my crust out of the oven. It took eight minutes for it to cook up. Now remember, mine was super thin. If you want your crust to be thicker, you're gonna to have to monitor your cook time and cook it a little bit longer and keep your eye on it. 
The ideal here is to cook the dough long enough for it to firm up and brown a little bit because you're gonna add your toppings on top of it and bake it again. If you cook it completely and then put your toppings on and you bake it in the oven, you're gonna burn it. So you don't want it cooked completely. You just want it cooked enough to firm it up. So here's my dough here. And you can see it's just started to brown a little bit around the edges and it is a little bit brown on the bottom and it is super thin. Sometimes I get in the mood for a thicker crust, but it's very filling. So I like to have a little bit of crust with lots of toppings. There are a few options for toppings for this. If you want a traditional style pizza, you can use a low carb marinara sauce. I like Rayo's, it's low carb, it's fresh tasting, it's very good. And then put your traditional pizza toppings on. You can also use Alfredo sauce and top it with cooked chicken and cheese and melt it down and it'll be chicken Alfredo pizza. Or you can use sugar-free barbecue sauce. The other day I used sugar-free barbecue sauce as my sauce. Then I put shredded pork all over the top of the barbecue sauce that I made in an instant pot. And then I topped it with some Monterey Jack cheese and it was delicious. So be creative with your toppings and keep it low carb. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.